Hi, this is Joel Persinger, the gun guy. I've got a Model 10 with me today, Smith & Wesson Model 10. Uh, I love these particular revolvers. There's something about K-frame revolvers which I really dearly love. Uh, revolvers are cool anyway, but the K-frames are uh, neat because of their history. I don't know uh, how much you know about them. You may be a Smith & Wesson expert and know more than me. Um, but Smith & Wesson, uh, back in 1896, first introduced the swing-out cylinder design that's common in revolvers today in, I believe it was called an I-frame, and it was in 32 caliber. Um, it was a kind of a popular little pistol. Later on, they made uh, the larger frame, the K-frame, in 38 caliber. Uh, in a 38 caliber, 38 Colt, wasn't very powerful, so eventually they came up with a more powerful cartridge, 38 Special. And 38 Special has been around with us for, gee, over a century, I think, at this point. And this type of revolver has been around longer than that. Uh, these were carried in the holsters of police officers and security officers around the world. Um, very, very popular handguns, extremely reliable. A lot of people rag on the 38 Special. I'm here to tell you, there's nothing to worry about. If you happen to have a 38 Special with modern defensive ammunition in it, it's uh, not something you want to be on the business end of, I wouldn't think, and certainly is a very effective self-defense cartridge. Nice thing, too, about a revolver is it's not ammo sensitive because it's actually you, through the pressing of the trigger, that make the mechanism work. It's not dependent upon the recoil or the uh, blowback action like a semi-automatic pistol, so it's not ammo sensitive at all. You can put really light loads in it for cowboy shooting or cowboy type loads, snake loads. You can put uh, target loads in it and shoot it all day with very, very little recoil, lots of fun to shoot. You can put full charge self-defense loads in it. Uh, if like this one, this is a, uh, a Smith & Wesson Model 10 uh, 14, and it's actually chambered for Smith & Wesson uh, 38 Special Plus P, you can put Plus P loads in it and you'll notice it's got a heavy barrel, so it's a little bit newer model of the gun. The one I was issued way back when, in 1978, I think, or 79, was a Smith & Wesson uh, Model 10, but it had a pencil barrel. You've probably seen a lot of those. Great handgun, super reliable, and uh, just a lot of fun to shoot. Personally, I happen to like the K-Frames, and I really like the 38 Special. Uh, you may have seen a video I've done previously on my Smith & Wesson Model 66. I'm a big fan of the 357 Magnum because of the versatility of the handgun. Because it's not ammo sensitive, you can put just about any kind of light loads or heavy loads through it. A 38 is the same way. Up to 38 Special, and in this case 38 Special plus P, and anything lighter than that, you can put uh, really light loads in it and carry it for a whole lot of different things. And for a self-defense pistol, particularly a nightstand gun, it makes a great nightstand gun because you pick it up, it's point and click. You don't have to think about it. They're very simple. There's not a lot going on with them. Uh, revolvers are a wonderful tool for that reason. And I think you've seen enough of my videos to know that I carry a little snubby revolver almost every day of my life. I carry auto loaders too, but my favorite is the little snubby because it's light and it's easy to carry. Uh, and we'll do some videos on various different kinds of snubbies for you later on. But today it's all about the Smith & Wesson Model 10, a great handgun made by a great company, been around for longer than I have, at least twice as long as I have, and still a very viable self-defense option and home defense option today. And you can find them reasonably inexpensively, too, if you look around. I bought this one used and got a screaming deal on it. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get out on the range and shoot it, and then we'll come back and talk about it briefly a little bit more. See you on the range. One of the things I did not mention about the 38 Special is how easy it is to reload. If you're a reloader, you probably already know that, but if you're not, you could get into reloading very simply with 38 Special. Very, very easy to reload, and you can do a lot of shooting when you're reloading ammo because it's a lot cheaper. Recoil is also very low, so for self-defense purposes, you can shoot these guns really fast and keep uh, rounds on target. Uh, I did it in this video just so that you could see. I loaded it up with plus P's and uh, those things are got a little recoil to them and still as you'll see I was able to keep it on target. So that is the Smith & Wesson Model 10. An absolutely fabulous revolver. Um, as you know I like revolvers a lot. People will say things like well they only hold six shots or you only got five shots or you only got... Look that's an issue of shot placement, which I've talked about before, and training and practice. 
you hit the guy squarely two or three times in the right place, he's probably not going to want to play with you anymore. If you got two or three attackers, you hit them each, you know, two here, two here, one there, whatever, and you hit them in the right place, they're probably not going to want to play with you much anymore. Yeah, if you can't shoot, you can't hit what you're shooting at, you might want to have 19 rounds. Is it better to have more ammunition? Absolutely. But if this is what you like to shoot, and this is what you shoot well, and this is what you you uh, you own, maybe this is something that you inherited or you you uh, bought it for target practice, and now you have a, a 38 special in some fashion. Maybe it's a Smith and Wesson Model 10. Maybe it's a Colt uh, uh, revolver or a Ruger revolver or whatever. But you can make it run, and you can and you can really deliver rounds on target with it with self-defense ammunition, and you like it, and you'll practice with it. Don't let anybody tell you that it won't get the job done, because it got the job done for a lot of cops for a lot of years all around the world. So no slouch, the 38 Special. And certainly in this package with a Smith & Wesson Model 10, you've got yourself a fine revolver, and it'll work really, really well for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos. I really would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe wherever the button is. It's here, it's there, it's, it seems to move around on every video. But if you could click that and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. The more videos you watch, the more people who subscribe, the more videos we can actually produce. And if you're not a member of the gun rights organization, I suggest you join the National Rifle Association. If you're not a member, I think you should be. If you don't like them, okay, I do. I, I think you should join, and I'm going to urge you to do so. We've made it as easy as possible by putting this link right here on the video. Now, if for some reason you're watching with a device that you don't see that link, that's okay. I also put the link down below in the description of the video. You can find it down there. You can join the NRA. It'll save you 10 bucks, and you can become a member of the National Rifle Association for a year for less than the cost of one box of ammo. And you can add your voice to the millions of people who have already joined. Right now, we need your help. Also, if you would share us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or those other places and help us build our channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks again. Please watch the previous videos and look for some new ones we've got coming up. And, uh, and have yourself a terrific week. Thanks for watching.